Calling all educators this Thursday, Milwaukee Public Schools holding a bilingual recruitment fair. They're looking for teachers, safety aides, food service staff, and more. Joining us now to talk about the recruitment fair is Dr. Juan Baez with MPS. Great to see you, sir. Good afternoon, all right, Ben. So you guys have a, a problem that employers have everywhere. You need people uh, to come and work. So let's talk first about the bilingual aspect. Uh, you're looking for people who speak multiple languages. Correct. We're this Thursday we'll be hosting the bilingual recruitment for at South Division High School. Uh, looking for bilingual educators in math, science, world languages, ESL. And like you mentioned, we're also looking for folks in safety aids, food service, paraprofessionals, et cetera. Uh, is it primarily Spanish language or is it multiple other languages that you're looking for? Uh, really looking for bilingual staff, particularly in the ESL. We have over 30 languages spoken. Some of our high schools have more than that. Uh, so we're definitely looking for folks that are bilingual across mm -hmm. multiple, not just Spanish, but definitely Spanish being one of our primary languages. Sure. And then as you look at those educators, um, you're talking about people who can speak multiple languages but aren't necessarily, uh, you know, teaching that language. You need Correct. a math teacher who can speak multiple languages, Correct. things like that. Correct, and so we're looking for educators that can really engage students across a multiple array, uh, language being a critical piece mm -hmm. to engagement in instruction in the classroom. And let's talk about some of the other positions that, that we mentioned as well. We're not talking just about classroom inspection, but you need people uh, in all facets. Why is it important for, for some of those other folks to be bilingual? Uh, definitely with the growing uh, and changing dynamics we have in Milwaukee, I think the, the assets that being bilingual bring not only to the classroom but the, the community as well mm -hmm. uh, is a critical asset to have in our schools and in our classrooms. What does that mean for students, you know, to, in terms of feeling comfortable in the schools that they're in? I would imagine if they have somebody who, who speaks their first language, uh, their ability to adjust to that environment is so much better. Definitely. Culture and climate and being your, your culture and your language being valued in the classroom is critical not only to you being a sense of welcome but also being academically uh, successful in the classroom as well. So what kind of people are you looking uh, to apply Dr. Baez? Does it, does it have to be somebody who's been in education before who can sign up? We're looking for folks that have a passion for students and want to change the life and academic outcomes for our young people. Uh, we're looking for folks that are qualified so if you have a bachelor's degree or you have 48 credits for example we have mm -hmm. paraprofessional opportunities also available. Uh, for example, we have a roll to 15. Uh, we're looking to have everyone at $15 an hour or over by 2021. Again, that's part of our recruitment and retention strategy. Uh, so we have opportunities for everyone. Come down to South Division on Thursday between 1 and 6. Check it out. All right. Thanks so much for sharing that with us. Good luck. Thank you. And again, more information on the MPS Bilingual Recruitment Fair is up on our website, including all the times and location as well. That's at TMJ4.com.